Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of March, maybe beginning of April, love reading. This is for the sign of Libra. Now you guys need to use your common sense, this may not resonate with you. If it does, great. Thanks for your patience. There it is. We will reveal the card at the end. Libra love, end of March, beginning of April. Last week of March, whatever, whenever it resonates, this is for the sign of Libra. What do you have for Libra? Lonely. Lonely. I'm so lonely. I'm trying to think of that. Lonely. I'm so lonely. You know that song. It's by Aiken. Lonely. Time of reflection. Coming up with a plan for the future. Perhaps you need to let go of something and love yourself unconditionally. Okay? This is unconditional love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here, here we have, I believe that a message is coming. Okay? A message is coming to you, but it might not be what you want to hear. Okay? Um, I think you could be trying too hard to find love or trying too hard to get the love that you want. Maybe you're focusing too much on love. Okay, you may be observing from the sidelines, observing somebody from the sidelines. Okay, and it could be really messing with your psyche. Okay, there is definitely some conflicts here that are very burdensome. Okay, they're they're very heavy. There's a lot of heaviness here. Okay, I feel like um, you know. Well, let me get some more cards. Yeah, there's door. There's a door that's closing. There's a there's a dead end here. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So okay. All right. So there's a door that has closed, or a door that is closing. Okay, and it may be making you feel like you're not worthy. You may be feeling like you're not worthy. You may be feeling like it was you. You may be feeling like you were the victim. But I think that you had the best of intentions. I really do. I feel like you had the best of intentions in this relationship, and that's why it's hurting so badly, okay? I feel like you, somebody has probably closed a door on you, and now you're feeling very alone. You may be going through some sort of midlife crisis to folk figure out what the hell happened here. How did this happen? Why did it happen? Why me? You know, that kind of mentality. And you're probably a little bitter and angry, and I think you probably are observing this other person because it's so heavy. I feel like there was some kind of contract here that, you know, it was meant to be. This contract came into your life for a reason. And, you know, but not everything lasts forever. And I feel like that's, you know, it's hard to let that go. And I feel like you guys are trying to do... I think you're trying to let it go. I do, but I think you're trying to you're doing too much at one time because both of these are very busyness. There's too much and too much, too much and too much. They're both too much energies. You're trying to do too much at one time, okay? And I don't think you've completely healed from this broken contract. And sometimes it takes years and years and years to heal from a broken contract in which you were you could it may have been a soulmate contract. Okay, so, you know, I feel like right now you have a lot of burdens that you're trying to work out, but I think that you're trying to do too much at once. Okay, and I feel like because you're, you're trying, you're overloading yourself, you know, you're not giving yourself the, the time and space and, and um, 
the ability to heal. There's lack of healing here. It takes time to heal and you and you need to give yourself the amount of time that it needs that you need to heal. Like I said, it could take years, okay? But I do feel like, you know, there 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 is some sort of, you know, dead end. You've reached a dead end. And now you're trying to refocus on the future and you I think you're getting so many thoughts. That's where all these burdens are here in this this heaviness, you know, too much, too much. You're thinking too much. Okay, you're getting too many thoughts going in about about your self worth. Okay, whatever this breakdown, this end of a contract has affected your self worth. It worth it has affected your self confidence. This has affected your self esteem. Okay, but the thing is, is that you have to love yourself unconditionally. Okay. Whatever, if it doesn't work out, when a contract doesn't work out, you know, it takes two. There's two people here. It's not just one. It definitely was not all you. Okay? Yeah, I see that you're hurt. Your heart is broke. Your heart is broke. And you could have been involved in a third-party situation. Okay? And it's hard to let go of this person from the past. Okay? It is really hard because you were in love with them. And I feel like you may be bitter and angry because of it. But, I, you know, I feel like... You know, it's time for you to let go of this disappointment. It is. It was a very disappointing time. I know it was. But if you keep looking at the loss and concentrating on the loss, then you will have to live with those consequences of only concentrating on the loss, of living with the loss, of not letting yourself heal. I mean, there's consequences of that. If you lack self-worth and lack self-esteem and lack self-respect, you know, which is right here, the basis of this reading, then you, there's no new contract going to come in. And many of you feel like you don't want a new contract right now because you're, you're really not letting go of this person that has left you feeling so down. You know, you're still going through, you still have healing. They, this card is not upright, okay? You still have a lot of healing left to do, okay? Yeah, it feels like it's, it's time for you to start this new chapter. Okay, this path, this is a dead end. Wherever you are at, whoever left you alone, it's over, it's over. This is a dead end. Okay, there's, it's not going to come back alive, it's over. Here, we have a new chapter that is ready to start. Okay, this is, this is like destiny. This is um, the wheel spinning in your favor. It's good luck. This is a change of course. You are being offered a new change of course, a new path, something that is destined, was destined to happen, okay? So I feel like there's been some kind of shift here. Something has ended and it's left you feeling broken, all right? But this ended for a reason, it did. I know that you can't see it right now. I feel like many of you are just concentrating on the loss. You can't see anything else what's behind you or any new opportunities because see, you're looking down at the loss. But the fact of the matter is, is that the universe or the destiny, this is the wheel of fortune, everything that happens, happens for a reason, and it wasn't meant to be forever, okay? You are being offered a new opportunity, a new chapter is right in front of you, a new exciting discovery, okay, this is a new partnership as well, okay? I feel like, you know, you really need to be open to a new suitor because I feel like you have a new suitor that is coming in that you will have a lot of lot in common with okay you will this will be very exciting there is exciting there will be a mutual attraction and this person that you are destined to be with is somebody that is on your level but you have to let go of this past baggage first and but the thing is is you guys have lost faith You've lost faith in anyone new coming into your life. But this Wheel of Fortune is upright. This tells me that you are receiving something good. This is a lucky break. It is. And you may not see it as a lucky break, but you are receiving something very, very good if you would just open your eyes and see the potential of somebody else. Okay? But if you guys have lost your faith and you're trying to stick with something that, you know, old-fashioned, you know, 
it's hard to explain. You know, it's, it's time for you to see the truth, accept the truth. It's time for you to see the light, to come out of the darkness and see the lights and let go of these power struggles and conflicts. You know, you've been going through a lot of mental conflicts here. Five, five, five. Fives are mental conflicts. They are also um, major life choices and major life changes. When you see 555, it means that you have a major life choice that is going to be, that is going to influence a major life change. 555. Five, five. It's time for a change. It's time for you to make this major choice that will change your life for the better okay that's what this is you are being given an exciting new opportunity but you may not see it because you're still holding on you're still holding on to this heaviness this baggage because of the lack of self-worth and self-esteem which is the basis of this reading down below okay wherever you are at there was no wish fulfillment even though you thought there was and you, you're still healing. This is lack of healing. All right? You guys are, you know, you're letting your own discouragement hold you back. Okay, this is discouragement. You guys, you need to let go. You need to let go of the discouragement, the insecurities, the faithlessness, the lack of faith. You need to let go of the lack of inspiration and replace it with confidence and courage and happiness and bliss and enlightenment. Okay, so what has happened here? Is you have to, you're being offered, okay, this is perfect right here. Let's just go like this. Okay. Switch that up. Because this is what it is. <laughs> you need to shift from this, spin the wheel, to this. This is lack of hope. Lack of faith. Lack of inspiration. This is where you've been. You're feeling lonely. Feeling like, uh, what just happened? How did this happen? I, I, I can't believe it. What did I do? You know, this is like a victim mentality as well. This side over here. Your heart is broken. You've lost all hope for the future. But you're being offered. This is destiny. This is the wheel of destiny that's coming in to offer you good luck and a lucky break. This really was a lucky break and you may not see it as I am right now. But the wheel is spinning in your favor to bring you happiness that you may not even see coming yet because you're still over here. And here, this is the outcome card. Focusing on the loss. Focusing on the loss right here. See the loss? She's, she's, she's looking down here, not even realizing that there are, there are other opportunities. There are. She's living in the disappointment instead of seeing that there is something better, brighter, more beautiful behind her, full. You are being offered a change in direction. This is a change in course from this to this. And this is from above. This is destiny. This is, this is like... Everything happens for a reason. The Wheel of Fortune is also about purpose. There's a reason why this didn't work out. And it's time for you to let go. Just let go. You're tempted. Whatever this was, it was lust. It was lies. It was obsessions. Obsessions in both of these cards. Somebody is obsessed with something that does not serve them. Obsessed. Right? I mean, they are. Because they think it's love. But it's not. This is not love. 
page of cups reversed. Lack of emotion. You are dealing with someone who was emotionally unavailable to you, even though you were in love. Turned out to be a third party situation. And now you are being called to start over again on a brand new journey and take a risk. And when you start this brand new journey, you don't take the past with you. I think that you are going to meet somebody that is will appreciate you and you that this person and you you know you have a lot in common all right I feel like this this next person that is coming into your life is is very positive and they are gonna love you for who you are It's going to lead to something solid, stable, and secure after you truly, truly, truly let go. You are going to have to struggle through this and take this new journey. You're going, this is struggle through it. You must struggle through it. Yes, I know you're resisting change and it's really, really hard. It's really, really hard to start over again. It really is. But you must struggle through this and take a risk elsewhere. That's what destiny says you need to do. It will lead to something solid and stable. And this person that wants to come into your life is going to love you for who you are. You have a lot in common. But you can't even see it right now because you're concentrating on the loss. Yeah, you're feeling dead inside. You're feeling empty. Unable to make a clear choice. You need to let go of your pride. Take the swords out of your back. And walk away from this situation. Because where you were at, you were being deceived, lied to, cheated and there's no more future there okay there's no more future and I'm sorry to tell you that there was there, there isn't there's no growth where you were at you were being deceived it's time to start focusing on the future only and I think it's somebody new but you're unwilling to let go this is unwilling you were being deceived and tricked and used by some crafty individual. Look the card up. Deceived, lied to, cheated. Why are you concentrating on somebody who lied to you, tricked you, probably put you in a third party situation? Why? Did they break your heart or not? It's time to stop playing games and take the next step. Let this person from your past go. It's time to regain control of your life and take the lead. Learn from this experience. And do the responsible thing. And stand up for yourself. And stop playing games. It's time to take the next step. And do not communicate with this person. Because you're trying to bring structure back to your life, right? 
Or do you really want to bring structure back to your life? Or do you want to play games? It's time to be successful. It's time to make progress, right? What about self-respect? It's time to bring that self-respect back, right? And that self-confidence? And hold your head up high? Because whoever, you, it was unrealistic. Whoever you're holding on to is unrealistic. They were critical and they misjudged you. And who needs that? They were only in it for what you could offer them financially. They weren't in it for love. It's time to go find the commitment that you deserve. And, you know, if you get invited to any event, I would go because you could meet this new person at an event. But you have to release. Release the past. Give up on it. I'm sorry. I really, really am. Because it's never going to lead to love. You were dealing with somebody who was immature and they lacked compassion. And now it's time for you to invest your energy elsewhere. Plant your seeds for the future and be patient. Be patient. You do have to cut communication with this person that is holding you back. Otherwise, you stay stuck and you keep the cycle going, going, going. The communication has to be stopped so that you can really start the healing process. The minute you start communication again, you, you go backwards. No more. No more. You don't know the truth, okay? This is an illusion. So, Libra, I would love to give you guys a better reading. I feel like you guys still have to let go of somebody that did not see your worth. I feel as though you are being offered a change of course with that wheel of fortune for the better. Destiny is at play here. This did not work out for a reason. And you are being offered a new path, a new opportunity. But you have to cut the communication, whether it's telepathic communication or what. Could be texting. It needs to stop so that you can let yourself heal and really get your self-esteem, your self-worth, and your self-confidence back where it needs to be. It's time to take the next step and regain all that's been lost so that you can go down this new path that's right in front of you waiting for you. This next person that is waiting for you, you have a lot in common with this person. So I think this is a week of cutting off the communication so that you can get to that commitment that you're looking for. And part of cutting off communication is not looking at them on social media either. No going looking at their Facebook page. No going to their Instagram. Block. So that you can start the healing process. When you are no longer looking at this person, you start the healing process. You don't look. You don't communicate. It's done. It's over, right? And if it's not over, then you have a long ways to go. 
if this person is involved with somebody else right now, if they cheated on you, it's over. Whether you choose to accept it or not, that's I'm just telling you what I see. Some of you, and I wasn't going to say it, but I am now, are in denial. Because I know you guys don't want to hear this. So I wasn't going to say it, but since those words just came out, you know, I have to show it to you. Let go of the denial and accept the truth. Now, I have to remind you guys that I don't allow bashing of your ex underneath. And so I'm telling, mostly for the cross watchers that are going to go on here and bitch about their Libras. Don't bother. Any bashing of your ex, the sign mentioned in the comments gets deleted and blocked. Keep those signs out of the comments. Because how do you feel when somebody bashes your sign? Memories, this is the problem. Son of a bitch, that is the problem. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. And that, that is what it is. You guys are living on memories. And they'll never die. They'll never go away, right? You have the memories. But that doesn't mean you need to let them hold you back for the rest of your life. You are being offered a lucky break with that wheel of fortune to start a new chapter in life. Should you decide to stop the communication with this contract that didn't work out. So I wish you the best and good luck.